Hello Tubes, Shop Guy here again. Well, we're in the middle of October right now. We just finished up the video for the BR400 backpack. And there before you is my latest steel product. This one I actually purchased new over the summer. Here we have the steel HS45 gas powered hedge trimmer. This is a pretty nice unit. I bought this to replace this old craftsman hanging on the wall. You see it behind the tube for the backpack. It was just not really big enough to do boxwoods, which I have in the back here, and I've already trimmed them. You can kind of see them through the window of the shop there, although the windows are dirty. But anyway, we bought this, I bought this machine brand new, and steel right now has a deal going that if you buy a piece of equipment, and if you buy a six pack of their steel synthetic oil, which this would be it right here, I've used one already to, they had a deal going that if you bought a six pack of their oil at the time of purchase on the machine, that uh, steel would double your warranty. So thus, for an extra fifteen dollars, with my you know for the what it costs for the oil, I've now got a four-year warranty on this trimmer, which actually is a pretty good deal. Anyway, let's look this machine over a little bit here. You've got your on-off switch right here. You've got your lockout. You cannot pull the trigger unless that's down, just like a chainsaw. And you've got a throttle lock over here for starting, so you would depress the trigger, push the button in, and while you're holding the button in, let go of the trigger. That's going to lock it into fast idle for starting. And up front here, here's your choke. It's in the run position now. And you push it forward. That's going to put it into full choke for start. You pull it till she fires. There's your primer ball right there. Then once you pull it and it fires, you don't pull no more. Move your choke back to run. Crank it until she stays running. Leave it locked on fast idle for about 10 or 15 seconds till she warms up. Then squeeze your trigger. Boom. Throttle locks off. Uh, 18 inch bar, it's got the nice steel sheath on it, but let's look at those teeth. See if I could do this. Yeah. That's got a pretty nice gap on it, those are pretty nice and sharp. This thing will go through a box really nicely. Uh, like I said, I haven't got anything to cut because I already trimmed the other day. However, we can start it. But there's what she looks like there. Uh, bought this at a place, a uh, steel dealer in uh, Bloomingdale, Ohio. Keister Implement. They're a John Deere dealer, but they also sell steel. I'll give a shout out to those guys there at Keister Implement. If you guys, anybody in the Bloomingdale or in the Ohio Valley area are looking to go for a place to uh, buy steel or John Deere equipment, Keister Implement's a place to go. Um, give a shout out to those guys. Anyway, let's take this thing out and uh, we'll, we'll start this up real quick here and I'll uh, let you see how that works. Okay, we're going to crank this thing up here. Uh, I hope you'll be able to see me again. Step back a little bit here with it. And anyway, let's do this. Put your switch to on. Let's lock your throttle. Put her on choke. Hit your primer ball a few times on the front. Shake that up a little bit. Give her a prime, now we'll give her a couple pulls. 
Now, okay, now that she fired, we'll put her on open choke. Out real good as well all right folks I got her hanging back on the hook where I keep her there uh, that's kind of uh, my take on the uh, steel HS 45 hedge clipper uh, I think for the price and for the size I think the thing is pretty good uh, unlike that craftsman over there which is kind of heavy and underpowered and that craftsman's dead by the way too but uh, I think if you're looking for a good quality hedge trimmer at a good price that isn't going to tire you out using it, the 18-inch bar makes it might nice and maneuverable, uh, I give it a two thumbs up. That's a, that's a very good machine. Uh, they get, the steel is always put out a very good product, and uh, I'm glad I got that. So if anybody's looking for a nice entry level, well, it's not even really entry level, but... Uh, a nice all-around good unit for resident or for commercial use. Uh, I suggest the HS45. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to comment. And this is Shop Guy heading out. I'm going to go get me some chili and uh, see what I'm going to do about later on uploading these videos. I'm going to have to redo the BR400 video, I think. But uh, I think for tonight we'll put the HS45 up. So, shop guy out. God bless you guys. We'll talk soon.